but it really did like Zomba, the fact that he went for that full hop. Like he definitely has a good sense of when he needs to be mixing those sorts of things up. But now he's gonna need to pull out all of the stops. We already saw what happened in winners. It was game five, very close, but Tilda took it. So what is he gonna need to change in order to, you know, reverse that fate? I think he's just gotta keep the uh, momentum up. He's just gotta play fast, play hard. If he can be really consistent with his ledge play like he was in the previous set, I think he will be in good shape to try and at the very least threaten to reverse the bracket. Otherwise, yeah. Tilde's walking out of here as the uh, champion and possible start of New Dynasty, like I was saying. Yeah, I feel like for Tilde, that's what's on the line here. It's not just another tournament. It is like the streak is starting. It's the statement that is he is trying to make. And oh boy, is he making it that up air, mixing up with the DI and the up smash on that platform to actually close out the stop. He's looking so good right now at that angle. Yeah, no, that was, you were not catching him with that arm rotor. I uh, commend the effort, but it wasn't happening. Game on Smashville just <laughs> seems like a very interesting call, I would say, because this invites a lot of scrapping. And I feel like Falco is able to really make the most of it here. Meanwhile, this is the situation that Zamba needs to be in. He needs to be able to keep Falco at the ledge. And more importantly than that, stop Falco from invading center stage because you need that little canopy of the platform and that little bit of relief of space from the ledge to at least react to Falco's buttons. Otherwise, you get brought to the combo city. Tilden now, he's looking for some way to actually close out this stock. It's something that in winners, he would struggle at times to actually do. And, you know, even if he is up by this much at the moment, if Zomba doesn't die, then like how there is no win condition. <laughs> and there's the down air. All right, we have the even stock count, but these are this is a far from even situation. That's probably why Zomba was comfortable going here, is the fact that the ledges function like that. That down air is that much more of a devastating tool. At the same time, I know for a fact that Tilde likes this stage for those ledges specifically. The fact that down tilt ends up like being able to hit people and spike them into it and send them all the way into the blast zone. So kind of trade-off for both players. I can understand why we went here in game one. Yeah, it's just a bit of a risky call, and right now I feel like it's a call that's paying dividends for Tilde as he's sitting pretty with the second stock. Zamba right now in the driver's seat as he's trying to do something with this damage. He still doesn't have a jump. Well, I don't even know if he got it back. Okay, there he actually has it, and it gets him back to the stage. And he even gets rewarded with Gyro. Ooh, and that's actually a pretty nice reward. Being able to get all of that nice, juicy damage onto Zomba. But, oh, that could be big. Good job jumping out of there and managing to get back to the ground, but only for an instant. But no catch with the down smash, though. Did you see how far that tech roll went? He, like, teleported six robs away. <laughs> and Zomba was chilling there, too, charging, and he was like, I got this. That's enough to do it. And now we do have a last stock situation. And this is the sort of thing where if you are Tilde, you, you are winning game one. Is oh. what I would say if Rob wasn't so heavy and the Zama's DI wasn't so good. How did he know to DI for up? Oh, I know why. Um, it's like a matter of, I'll talk to it after because that this could do any other way. Is he actually Not dead from rage. that? No, give me another one, Zamba. Oh. Ooh, that was a really good high call from Tilde. No way, I thought this was just in for Tilde in the bag. Even that's not enough, 182%. He's refusing to die, and the, no way. Yeah, no, <laughs> he was just not in position to properly time that down air. He was too busy getting to the stage on his own. Oh yeah, looking for the down tilt right now. But really good from Zomba, not allowing that to happen. Is that enough to do oh, it? Oh, that air dodge cost him. And even Zomba's confused, he's like, all right, you can give that to me, I'll take that, thank and you. The thing is, Zumba didn't die. He just was refusing to give up his life and staying alive. I think stock two was like 150, 160. And then that right there, he was at 180 before he actually, like, he didn't even bite the dust. He was at 190, dude. Yeah, you know, Zumba and is definitely like, he's in it for the long haul with this one. The fact he survives the up air. Which, the reason why he survived it is because he DI'd for up Because if you get hit by back here, you're dead. It doesn't matter. So just DI for the thing that you can survive. There's no reason DIing for, like, the thing that, you know, is, you're going to die from anyway. 
really smart from him. And that's what kept him alive, and that's how he managed to actually take game one. And with game two bringing us to town and city, the bank shot with the laser there was so cool. It's so unnecessary, but really good from Samba. I feel like this stage actually invites a bit more uh, layers that, while definitely favor Tilde, and we've seen plenty of times before why, I actually feel like this space works out really well for Rob as well. Especially the FD variant here. But it's not so great for him when he has to land. Oh, even more damage possibly. Another back air, but not enough to actually get the kill. The very first frame of Nair is threatening the kill there? Okay. Sure. Back throw just to set up the ledge play, and I like that call a lot. <sighs> play too fast and loose with the ledge, though. That, I'm not that big a fan of. And I, I like that Tilde has been going for the ledge mix-ups very consistently with his uppies. That, because you, you do not want to be too predictable, especially with a spacey offstage. Yes, on the but, other hand, yeah, the last few times, Zomba has just, he's been able to handle it, either with like an instant move, like a dash attack or something like that, or with just letting him hang back and the fear do the work for him. It's one of those situations, too, where it's like if you do the mix-up enough times and you don't do what's expected, the, you, you've suddenly reversed the roles, where the mix-up is no longer a mix-up. It's the expected protocol. You know, also, oh, oh, this could be huge. He's You're dead. dead. You're He's dead. actually dead. You clocked in Max Rage. He brought you to the ledge perfectly. And that's why Rob is here to stay as a character. There's no other defensibility, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter how good Rob is. He's not going to be surviving something, a blunder like that. And now Tilde, I mean, a comeback worse than this happened last game from Zomba. So this is still absolutely within reason. The thing is that Tilde needs to actually be closing out stocks. Oh, a couple of forward airs just to check the space. I like that Zama's going just for these little checks in neutral as opposed to going for some sort of combo string here because given the percentages, he can't really afford to overextend. Yes, he may have that stock lead, but you kind of want that security against the likes of Tilde. He is probably dead here. He is yep. very dead, in fact. Down smash at the ledge is certainly going to do it. And Salty, we're on the verge of seeing a very quick bracket reset. Yeah, and that was also Tilda's counter pick. There was definitely things he wanted to take advantage of on that stage, and he just didn't have a chance to. That was Zomba looking absolutely pristine. And as soon as he made one of those bad mistakes off stage, Zomba would take him all the way. Think about how the like these tiny little mistakes at like mid-range percents he's dying for. Whereas he's surviving until like 180. Like, of course he's gonna be winning. I mean it all adds up to Zomba favor. Numbers don't lie. Alright, so here we are for game three, back on town and city, and I Again, I think the stage just works fine. It's a really good Falco stage. I think it's especially a really good Tilde stage. Yeah. It's just, the honest is on him to actually execute and prove why. Because right now, Zamba is playing fantastically. Oh, man. Look at that. Nice solid damage in order to get things started here. 46%. And, you know, we haven't really seen so much neutral air spam. It sort of, you know, the fact that these two have been playing against each other quite a lot. It's probably Zomba recognizing and respecting the fact that Tilde has shown he can play around it. I think it's just the notion's gotten beaten into Zomba that a lot of Falco's better tools are anti-air tools. And some of them just so happen to start his combos. His very heavily damaging and potentially oh. killing combos. I mean, potentially killing, but we have not been seeing them actually kill. Zomba's playing around them so well when it really comes down to the wire. He's never getting hit by up tilt into back air to actually take the stock. Instead, oh, he's the one who's doing all of the damage. Town and City coming in clutch for uh, Tilde right there, though. Bigger blast zones on the top helping. Just on, just from side to side, constantly threatening to kill. But an excellent reversal from Tilde. He's the one who's going to be breaking first blood in game three. Second and blood, though. Gyro? I guess, yeah, no, at that percent, sure. Yeah, you got it, bro. Yeah, nice job getting that, uh, getting the parry and realizing that the down tilt is the only move that can actually hit at that range. Oh, here come those tilde combos. 94% in the blink of an eye. And if he goes up there, oh, he's looking for it. But he also knows not to overextend. That can possibly mean all of his work will be undone. Oh, that's Rob with almost no fuel. He does not get to fool around in the stage again. 
Maybe he will on the next stock. An excellent catch from Tilde. And that's that neutral air. He's shown that he is, if he has the timing down, up smash beats it out. No problem. A little dunk on the head and potentially a situation where Zamba could find the reversal. Nope, instead just going to be letting go. Little Falco double laser. <laughs> that was so good. The wave land on the platform. He knows that getting back down to the ground immediately is a priority. And for him, it seems to be working out for the most part. Oh, but trapped at the ledge once more. 100% off stage. We've already seen... Actually? No. No. Falco don't got hops like that. You know, I was actually just about to highlight Salty in this set. We're finally now starting to see Tilde make a lot of use of side B, which is a tool I feel has been completely absent from the last time these two were playing in bracket. It's He's saving it for the reset. Doesn't want to hold all of his cards too, uh, you know, too far out. Yeah, but I mean, it's looking like a very grim situation where he does have to prepare what he's going to be doing in the bracket reset because Zamba is playing on the verge of this reset now, and he's going to make it so if this ledge play extends in his favor. Oh. Even reacting to the platform adjusting as they come onto the stage. And now, oh man, he's off stage. No jump. He's forced to side B. The roto arm. No, he doesn't go for it. Oh, he's too late on that because of that. And there's the reset. Quick 3-0. Teacher, I have several questions. <laughs> now let's see. What did Tilde do wrong here? Tilde, like... Oh, man. I am, like, perturbed. <laughs> let's go with perturbed. And... They like traded back air to arm rotor. And it was like Wait, one. Is that what happened? It I thought he just jumped into it. Three, two, oh no, you're right. Tra Wait, no. And he flew faster. Alright, but now we are in the reset. You know, the set cap between these two, totally even. Uh, but that last uh three games we just saw. Oof for Tilde. Yeah, no, that was just exceptional play from Zamba. And, you know, let's, let's add a little bit of shenanigans, just a little spice to the end of that set. Just in case you forgot where you are. Because here in New York, we don't just play fair, we play, play to win. Oh, and this is kind of, this game is starting off like how we've seen them do so many times before. Tilted, really nice combo, getting about 80% in the, you know, within moments. But then, not really able to continue beyond that, and Zomba claws his way back ever so desperately until right now, as we know, it is an even game. I would actually say Zomba favor, considering the fact that Zomba has been regularly surviving until 150, 160 plus. So, do you know what I think the problem is, at least with these two? What? Oh. Okay, Zomba. You know what I think the major problem is? Is that Falco has an exceptionally good combo game and has no particular struggle with killing, as we see from Tilde managing to even up the stock count. But these are two separate aspects that make Falco a strong character. With Rob, he has an exceptional combo game and no struggle killing, and those two aspects are seamlessly joined. They are fluid between each other, and because of that, I feel like Tilde is losing out in situations where he'll win neutral and then have to find the kill, whereas Zamba will ne win neutral and follow that up seamlessly with finding the kill. And I mean, you're right, the other thing is that these two might have a similar sort of, you know, play in that regard. However, Falco offstage, much, much worse than Zomba offstage. Again, second time that's been happening. Is that is that a regular thing we should just be expecting for? Is it just the new weather pattern? <laughs> Up air out of combos to win? Okay. I feel it's just the, it's the curse of species, man. All of that power. Cosmic combo potential. Itty bitty recovery mix up. Oh, nice spacing from Tilde until he gets grabbed. And then, oh boy, the pain comes. Yeah, no. We get right back into the mix, but Tilde refusing to give up. He takes a deep breath along with that he, up smash. I believe he up smashed uh, Rob Jab 1. Which, that's just like, you know how much, you know, minus each move is if you know that, oh, jab one, I can up smash that. You know, Falco's up smash out of shield actually does give him a bit of leverage on moves that you know are not going to be exceptionally plus on block. 
So if you do know your numbers like that, oh. Falco definitely the kind of character that can take advantage of you, but take advantage of the situation there as Zomba as he nabs away game one. Man, everyone's been missing techs right now against Zomba. But it's like, I mean, it makes sense. The way that he's setting him up at these percents, at these very particular angles with the moves that he does. Uh, but if you are told, hey, it's just react quicker. <laughs> don't miss your text, bro. It's definitely a rough situation to be in. Because I feel like at this point, what's expected of Tilde is just be better. <laughs> and given the pressure of this situation, that is asking so much of one person. The man just got 3-0'd to have the bracket reset on him. This is four matches in a row in Zomba's favor. Yeah. This is rough. Zomba's been playing exceptionally lately. And it's not like this is an isolated incident. He's been performing incredibly well at the local events as well. Just been the absolute shining star of Staten Island. And if he manages to walk away with tonight's saga from loser's side, no less, this is a really good way of showcasing your skill as a player. That was such a good roll. I don't know if that would have broken shield, but that very easily also could have shield poked. Zomba right now, he, this is actually not the normal pattern of, oh, super early percent combo for Tilde. Uh, and actually, I think it's working out better for him. With him being the one with rage means that he can maybe set up for a kill himself. Just sort of going for these bouts in neutral and then like leaving a little bit of space to react in turn. I think it's working out really well for him. I love the dash out. Just go in, start to put on a little bit of pressure. No commitment on the buttons means that you just get to react. Oh, that back throw really big. Putting Tilda off stage. This might possibly be yeah, the end for him. Tilt just suck the bird right in the beak. No. <laughs> But, and a response immediately tilted with that up smash. We've seen that that's been one of his regular go-to kill moves. But it's like, you know, as you were saying before, Hangman, compare what moves they're killing with. It's often like tilted with a hard read on the up smash, either out of shield or something, you know, just uh, catching a landing. Whereas Tilda's just like setting up these kills off stage. Yeah, so I'm just sort of flying off and deciding, hey, you didn't space that perfectly. You'll die now. How dare you not be perfect? Uh, he just demands perfection from his opponents. You know, it really is something nice to see, too. Just taking a moment to really appreciate how far both of these players have come. <laughs> Talk about how far we're going to come. How far are you going to go into the blast zone? An amazing hunt from Tilde. Paying off fantastically as it evens up the game. That might also be the, ne like the necessary game changer. You know, getting something like that, putting momentum back in his favor. It felt like he was kind of struggling to kill and also kind of maybe struggling to keep his head totally in the game. And after you do something like that, that might be the start to something beautiful if you're, uh, oh! That was cute. The fact that side piece and lag was interrupted by the gyro just meant another hit from Tilde. Just great presence of mind. And Zamba is coming back home. He's gonna find his landing and he's gonna find an additional laser with it. Oh man. <laughs> Tilde is landing with, without a jump, but it's still been fine for him. Both of these players now trying to, right as I say that, catching again! How many times is he gonna get away with that? And this time teching. I think it's the fact that he knows for a fact that, oh, great catch from Tilde. Brings us the 1-1 one, one count. Yeah. I think it's the fact that Zamba knows that like Falco has to jump to get up there in the air with you. And he can't seamlessly act out of his jump. He does have to get into the air first. And during that time is where he's at his most vulnerable. So you might as well swing on him if you can. Drag down up air is going to be doing it. Yeah, and I think also maybe it displaces Rob's hurt box in a way that makes it even trickier for Falco. It may do that as well, which is just an additional layer of help. I believe it also might be his fastest aerial. That part, I wouldn't be able to say for certain. That's a pop quiz I did not study for. Okay. Up air. Is it Rob's fastest aerial? I would say it would be forward air, but that's just... Well, know, forward air isn't going to help really. No, I know. It's combo. just, you yeah. know, just semantics. Yes. Game would, 3 is bringing us to Kalos. I still Pokemon. think it might be up air. We will check on that later. Not on stream, just for my own personal whatever. My, my peace of mind. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. All right, getting into... Ca We're getting into the zoning war, my friend. Hit his gyros and lasers alike from side to side. 
I wasn't really expecting but, but, a uh, zoning war. <gasps> You're dead. Not dead. Wow. Yeah, no. Totally this time, learning his lesson from the winner's side, where he was no wall jumps from Kalos. We're not oh, going to yeah. do that, because every time he did that, he died in explosive fashion. Yeah, and it is worth mentioning, this stage was Zomba's counterpick in winners, and uh, uh, <laughs> this was Zomba's counterpick in winners, and it really worked out for him. The bigger blast zones just saved his skin so many times. Ooh, and I like the turnaround there, too, so you can get the rising there to cover space. This is the one drawback of going into Kalos, the fact that it's just so big. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much airspace for Rob to navigate freely. Yeah, those up smashes, they you know, they were working out really well for Zomba, or for Tilted, rather, earlier, but they are risky. They are committal, and right there we saw why committing to them at the wrong time can be absolutely devastating. Now Tilda has to, you know, fight his way back from this stock deficit, and Zomba looking to exploit the fact he has this lead. Yeah, just taking a quick uh, look, just for the stage bands, just so people are aware. We have consistently seen Final Destination and Pokemon Stadium 2 locked away, which is why we haven't seen those stages at all. And I think that's just a really good decision from both players, because you don't want to fight on either of these the combo fiends, ledge play monsters with no platforms. And playing on Stadium against both of these could also be disastrous because of the ability for Rob to control space. Oh, no jump. Oh, no, he did have a jump, but it was the wall jump that actually led him down the, to that. Oh! And that, just falls out of the up air. That was just really good SCI. Because, like, the Potential or not, my man was out of there, and he definitely needed that. Zamba's still sitting the stock count up. Yeah, and this is a similar situation to what we've seen before. 171%, and, like, Zomba doesn't even know what to do about it. He's probably looking for a down tilt. Even forward air isn't enough. Ooh, up air from Tilde does manage to tie up the stock count. However, that's still Falco at 137. He is at death's door, and Zamba's throwing him right through. The 2-1 count immediately, because Zamba's making damn sure that Tilde does not build up any type of a lead. Oh, and these spot dodges and the air dodges from Zomba to get out of these combos are really, really good right now. Oh, right there. I think he took his jump, though. Yeah, but he gets back down to the ground. He's forced to respect that neutral air that Rob has. It just can be so hard to fully chase that robot down. Just going for consistent damage out of these combos. Even if they aren't killing, it's threatening that big damage. And likewise, <laughs> Zombie have to eventually get himself back to the stage. Eventually, these combos are going to start to threaten kill. That we're going to do it off the up air. Yes, it will. And Tilde's brought us back to an even game. And if you notice, he was going for that up air, waiting to see what happens. Or the up tilt, rather. Up tilt, waiting to see what happens. Up tilt, waiting to see what happens. Until he was confident that Zomba was not going to air dodge. And then he fully committed to the up air. Just not showing his hand too early, I think, is a phenomenal adaptation Ooh. from Tilde. Because you can't really afford to just sort of go on cruise control at this point. You need to be playing off of reaction. And baiting out those responses from your opponent are the best way for you to do that. Especially in these high tension situations. <sighs> oh man, things are getting dicey for Tilda though. 116% trapped at the ledge. Going for these big moves. That's gonna be it. Another one of those missed techs. And despite the fact he was keeping it so even, Zomba right now one game away from getting the entire reversal and taking the first offline Xeno Saga since the pandemic. This is looking crazy, man. We're coming down to the end of it all. Just look at this play. He knew! He knew way ahead of time, and he put out a down tilt too early, in fact. Thankfully, he moves fast enough that Zama <laughs> responded in turn and got his down smash follow-up just like that. One game away. Yeah, right now you can see Tilda doing a little bit of soul searching, realizing that this is, you know, he was originally going to be making such a statement. Four Xenos in a row. But right now, he is pushed to the brink. Zomba is only one game away, and Tilda has to fight like hell in order to get basically a reverse 2-0. There's no other recourse for him. He needs to be doing that. This is one of the issues I feel with when you're like you're playing hot as a player and you're on the come up. You've got the placings and the winnings to really prove it, and you need to just be reminded you are not the protagonist of this story. Everyone is on their journey as competitors. And right now, we have two 
parallel storylines running of players looking to prove themselves at the top of New York City. There can only be one winner. And right now, Zamba's on the verge of proving his time is now. <laughs> I'd say Zamba, that if Tilde I, I didn't bring us into story time of his own. I will say, though, Zamba's been having plot armor throughout <laughs> these sets today. He is surviving <laughs> hits in ways that I never thought, but no plot armor can save you from that back air right at the ledge. Tilde, you know, I think that little collection he did, the self-reflection was necessary because he's looking really good here in this game four. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, breathe a little. Check your pulse before you go back into the next game. <gasps> oh no! Uh, talk about a pulse, we are flatlining, folks! <laughs> it's a 2-2 two -two count, and it's all Tilde's fault! He thought he was gonna land on that platform. He was doing this whole cheeky little combo. He was gonna land on the platform, reset, do all this damage, but just zoop, barely misses it, and he costs him his own stock in the middle of his own combo. Oh, that loss of momentum could mean disaster for Tilde <laughs> as Samba's running away with another stock. And that was the moment. I feel like that's like the moment where everything changed. Like, the fact that he died in that way and now another stock taken for its time. Even but, really good DI, not going to be able to help Zamba there. Tilde still got some life in him as he manages to bring an even stock count. Oh, but he's pushed at the ledge, and we already know what happens at these, even at these lower percents when Tilda's at the ledge. All right. Late hit of forward air is not going to be given much. Zamba consistently DIing these hits from Falco superbly. If you have a Falco problem, look to Zamba to study for how to get out of these combos because when a big body like Rob doesn't have to even pretend to Ooh, favor these combos, you the know this is a phenomenal <gasps> Rob. That might and be it. Down air gets it done just like that. Zamba is tonight's Xeno Saga champion. Fighting tooth and nail, getting knocked into losers by Tilde himself. All of that is a memory, a distant memory. Absolute as he resets the bracket, 3-0, and then manages to win 3-1. Tilde only managing to take one game out of six once we get to Grands. That was a spectacular performance from Zamba. All right. And if you just needed further testament to like how much effort this kid has been putting into his play, just look at tonight's bracket. Also